What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Transformers Legacy Wild Rider. So this is the next in the wave of Sonicons that we're getting from Hasbro. And I did look at the drag strip, and I haven't looked at the Motormaster, but eventually I'm going to get this whole thing, put it together, show you the full combiner. I am very interested in looking at the combiner, but these individual bots, uh, not so sure, but... This guy, he does have some paint on him. So let's take a quick look. He got some silver, blue, red on the face, silver for the eyes, red here down the arm. On the side, you got the red stripe for the vehicle mode, which we'll see later. Here's the back. You can actually do this a couple different ways. So I think this is the best, but if you go by the instructions, you're supposed to pull these down like this and then set that down like that. I just think that looks so darn ugly and there's no need for it. So you could just put this right back in, collapse that up, and problem solved. I think this looks a lot better. But there you go. He does come with some accessories. So you get two blasters. They're actually nicely painted. They've got some lavender paint there across the top and across the barrel. Sculpted, detailed nicely. You can combine them into a super weapon, just like you could for drag strip. So you can put in one arm, or you can... Split them up and put it in both arms. Either way, I think it looks really good. There's some nice weapons overall. For articulation, the head, um, it's on a joint here, but it just doesn't stay. It just likes to fall down. I don't know. Sometimes it stays, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but you can rotate around. Not really up and down. I mean, it goes up down accidentally, but or up accidentally, but not down. So I don't know if I count that. Shoulder rotated around on this joint here. It goes up to there. Rotation of the bicep. It does break the sculpt and the paint job there, but it works. You have an 80 degree band at the elbow and nothing at the wrist. You have rotation at the waist. Again, it breaks the sculpt and it actually looks pretty weird if you get it too far. It's kind of off center, off kilter. It's a strange way they did. I guess it's not centered on this piece here due to the transformation. Go the leg goes up to there, back to there, out to the side, all in friction, rotation at the thigh. There's a little bit of something weird here when I first got it. These legs would not uh, go up halfway. It was either locked here. Yeah, so it's getting better. It's getting a little bit looser, but it was snapping in at this last bit. So you couldn't have it slightly out. Now you can't seems like you can't actually put it slightly out, but it does want to snap to the center. So just be aware of that. 90 degree bend at the knee, ankle tilt here, and a pivot forward. So pretty nice articulation on this guy. And for some size comparisons, there it is next to the Legacy Drag Strip and the Earthrise Optimus Prime. Obviously fits in well with all the other deluxe, you know, car bot scaled bots. And it also looks pretty good next to Drag Strip as a team. All right, now let's get him transformed into his vehicle mode. Before we do that, I just want to mention this. You can store these weapons kind of back here. It doesn't work perfectly because it sticks out on the bottom, but you can do that if you want to. All right, so let's start with the arms. Go ahead and fold these up. These arms do tab, tab into the back here, so just, just give that a little push, and they'll straighten them up as well. Come to the front here, fold down the chest, you can fold the head in, and then fold that back in. So then come to the top here, and we're going to take this, and fold this down, and that's basically going to sit right here. It does have to kind of clear, so make sure it fits through those two slots, so you want to have those come down, but that should fit in like this. Then you can take this piece here. This is actually kind of weird. It's it's a translucent plastic piece. It, it clicks in and locks into place. But it doesn't feel good or sound good, but it works. So I don't think it's going to break, but I would just be cautious since it's all translucent plastic. But so far, no issues. It doesn't seem to have a issue breaking or anything like that. Go ahead and open up this panel here. I'm going to rotate at the waist, and that allows us to take this piece here. Fold that down, and then bring this inwards, and this piece is going to sit 
back like this for now. All right, same on this side. Open up this panel here. Fold that over. Bring this around. Tab these together on the back. And then it should insert under here, like that. And again, it is translucent plastic, but I don't seem to have an issue, at least on my copy, or the copy I got. Uh, this is actually from uh, Michael Rogers, by the way, so I forgot to mention that. But. And then the last step here is just take these feet and they plug in. There's a little circle right here that's plugging in. So get those lined up. And there we have Wild Rider in his pretty good looking vehicle mode. He does have some paint on him, so I was kind of pleasantly surprised to see paint on this top part here on the roof, obviously, because it's translucent plastic. Nice Decepticon logo tampo there. Translucent red, as you'd expect, and then the red stripe along the side here. It's got a little bit of metallic look to it. Here's the back. It would be nice if they painted the lights, but I wasn't expecting that. Overall, pretty clean looking vehicle. Now, I do have this weird thing. It doesn't perfectly go together. You know, if I try to get the top in, the bottom comes apart. The bottom in, the top comes apart. It's just not a perfect exact fit. Close enough, but it does roll. If you push these feet in too far and the bottom sticks out, it will catch on those. So you're better off just keeping them straight. You know, basically perpendicular or parallel, I mean. And it does roll nicely. You can take the weapons and they will store nicely in here. And that looks pretty cool. I like this. all of these store their weapons very nicely. And for size comparison, there it is next to the Legacy Drag Strip and the Earthrise Optimus. Of course, fits in perfectly. I really like how this set is shaping up, at least in vehicle mode. Um, it does look good together. So I'm excited to see what the final combined form looks like, especially since they're going to be in their car modes. But there you go. So final thoughts on the Transformers Legacy Wild Rider. Let's start with the positives. It's a pretty good looking bot. It's got some nice beat on the head, chest, arms, and in the vehicle mode. Nice painted guns, and those look pretty good as well. I like that you get two. They've been giving us two, so I hope they continue that trend with all of them. I think, with, I think we are getting two with each, so that's good. We just got the tease of the breakdown. Uh, that's from, I think, a toy show uh, over in uh, China or Japan. Uh, and it looks pretty good, so I'm hoping that one kind of has the same things. Uh, I also think that the overall aesthetic is pretty good. Uh, Negatives-wise on this, there are still some gaps. So you still got the waffles here in the legs, in the arms, both in the upper arms and the lower arms. But the fact that it's a darker plastic, it's harder to see it. You don't really notice it as much. But it is still there, and it, this one is pretty significant. There's quite a few on the arms and legs, and even down here. Um, it's just the color kind of hides it. That's really it. I do recommend it. I think it's going to fit in beautifully with your chug scale. And this is coming out to be a nice set, at least in their vehicle modes and, and most of their robot modes. Um, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.